Force trim release is a convenient way to neutralize the forces on the stick that you have to work against in flight. With the update to version 5.26 we have introduced a different force trim release function for our EC135. Today I will show you how it works. Let's take a look. We are flying manually as usual and the helicopter responds precisely to the stick inputs. At some point it becomes tiring to counteract the force of the centering spring. Time to adjust the trim. In the real helicopter this is done via a special mechanism with springs or actuators. I show it here with a replica of the original controls. The mechanism allows the neutral position of the controls to be shifted, eliminating the need for counter pressure. But at home we usually don't have such a system, so we need a different solution and here is how it works. I press and hold the force trim button. At first nothing happens, the helicopter remains fully controllable. Once I've reached a desired flight attitude that I want to trim for, I need to do two things in very quick succession. I release the force trim button and immediately afterward I let the joystick return to its center position. I'll show it. Now I have control again, but I need much less force because I can operate from the center position. If I want to change the flight attitude significantly due to a different power setting or preparing for landing, I simply repeat the maneuver. The helicopter has always been capable of this in principle, but the procedure was different. So why did we change it? Well, because more and more users are using the autopilot and previously the procedures were entirely different depending on whether the autopilot was engaged or was not engaged. That was confusing. Now the procedure is practically identical. With autopilot we are not adjusting the trim itself but rather the flight attitude reference using the exact same steps. Press the force trim button. Now we have manual control and can fly to the desired new attitude. Release the force trim button and let the stick immediately return to center. That's it. But what if you have a joystick without centering or even a mechanically shiftable centering system like in a real helicopter? Then you need our plus version. There you can modify the force trim button behavior via an entry in the helicopter's preferences file. If you are flying without autopilot, the force trim button has no function at all because you don't need it. There are no control forces to neutralize. With autopilot enabled, the button still fixes the new target flight attitude just as described earlier. However, in this case you don't let the stick return to the center, but hold it in place. Any questions left? Feel free to use our support forum in German and English language at rotorsim.de. You will find the link in the video caption. Thanks for watching and always happy landings! Mm -hmm.